these bees are about to swarm because there's big capped queen cells all through the brood box. There's a big one there inside. The height of springtime now and bees are moving everywhere. I've been catching swarms and trying to prevent them as quick as we can. We really weaken this hive down a lot. I'm going to checkerboard this hive, meaning put the frames blank, drawn, blank, drawn. I'm going to split the brood nest up, which you really don't want to do unless it's spring time. I'm going to release the queen. She's jumpy. And some queen cells are taken out. Oh, there's, another, there's a queen. Where did she come from? Wacky. So here's a virgin queen that we've got in a cage here that's just emerged out of this queen cell. Um, so I pulled this queen cell off a frame, meaning to destroy it for swarm control. And then started doing other things in the hive and then came back and she was actually crawling around on the cell. You can see she's chewed her way out and made this little door flap here and just crawled straight out. So this colony has gone queenless. So we'll see what they do here, whether they recognize the Virgin Queen or not, whether she just crawls straight in. Yep, straight in. She will take about seven days till her exoskeleton hardens up and her wings get right to fly. And then she'll fly out and mate with several drones in the one mating flight. And then she'll come back to this hive and start laying her eggs and start her life as the queen of this colony.